smell that? Do you smell that? Oh, I smell that. Oh, it's so good. Well, we love it when businesses show their appreciation to the brave men and women who serve our country. And Perry's Steakhouse is proud to introduce their military menu, and it's a good one. We're so glad to have Master Development Chef Rick Moon in here. Rick, I, yeah, I it, it. my mouth is watering. Yeah. It smells so good. No, <laughs> we really do appreciate the military. Yes. And uh, those are active or retired. If uh, They come into Perry's before 6 o'clock. We mm -hmm. open at 4 every day, yes. any day of the week. Week, make a reservation and dine in the restaurant show that they have a military ID they get for $39 three course meal Wow it's really amazing and so I'll explain what we have as we're cooking yes I'm gonna give you a couple of tips on how to make the perfect steak at home I love it so first and foremost you want to pick a beautiful piece of meat absolutely right? which is so, what we have here what right we look for with a beautiful piece of meat yes is the marbling this beautiful we're talking about fat just before we got on yeah floor, exactly. this is good, <laughs> fat. good fat this melts this base <laughs> from the interior it melts down and it's basting on the interior Yum. the thickness the cut of it the quality high quality this is a fillet so that's the cut okay yes. Then yeah want to take it out and let it get to room temperature a little bit you don't okay. want to go right from the refrigerator to your grill oh. or your stove or okay grill. that's because good to know it cooks more evenly this way. Now, we want to put a nice uh, coating of seasonings. Okay. Seasonings, very important. Salt and pepper is good, but I'm using some of our Perry's proprietary seasoning. Ah. I'll, I'll leave this with you. So yeah, you oh, thank you. Oh, my but goodness, it's, it's, yeah. It's got all the right flavors, and you want to put a good uh, amount on there. Okay. This is a thick cut of meat. That looks like a lot, right? But if right. you don't put that on there, you're going to be, oh, it needs a little bit more. Oh. So you might as well put it on in the very beginning. Okay. And it also helps form what we love to create at Ber Perry's, crust ah okay right? so love that we have our grill or heating unit yes one side is really hot that's where that's going yeah. right and that's that's where you want to get your marks create your crust okay and then if you want to depending on how you like it in the center you want it medium medium well medium yeah. rare, whatever you go to a side that's not as hot so it's like a warmer zone okay hot zone warmer warm zone, zone. got right? it now when you're cooking you want to just turn it once over flip it once because it's, it's got juices in it. Okay. So right now, when the heat is like making it tighten up, so those juices are moving up. When you flip it over, those juices are, so then they're in the center. So um, when you've got your degree of doneness, yes. you want to let it rest. Okay. Now, why are you letting it rest? Is it tired? It's not tired. <laughs> but you're letting the juices redistribute them, redistribute <laughs> yes. themselves. So when you cut into it, it's not just the juices aren't going all uh, over the right. place. Right, okay. I've and definitely so here, then what I'll do is we'll do it just to make it fancy. We'll do a little, we'll do a little turn. Love that. So that gives it the crisscross lines. If you have lines, yes. doing it in a pan. At Perry's, we do it under an incredibly hot broiler. Okay. It gives it a delicious crust. Yum. So, okay, but we're perfect. talking about at home. Yes. But while this is kind of doing its thing, I'll flip yeah. over in a second. Yeah. Let me show you some of the other items on the military menu. Please. Our world famous pork chop. I mean, this thing is unbelievable. My favorite. It's cooked with smoking and pecan wood for hours. Amazing. Seizing the crust. It's sweet. It's uh, it's. <laughs> it is. This is our wedge salad, and it's not a wedge. It's more of a disc. Okay. You know, it's a different cut. Sure. And, and we have our buttermilk dressing, and that's what makes that's what makes it stand out. The beautiful. Buttermilk and the blue cheese and the tomatoes and the, and the bacon. Yes. Unbelievable. Our, our beautiful Atlantic salmon. Okay. With a little bit of dill butter on it. Wow. And for those that don't wish to participate in the meat situation, sure. this is good for the brain. Of course. And this is this is the filet as uh, as it would come out. It's a six ounce filet mignon. Beautiful. And then our white chocolate cheesecake is. Oh and, my and goodness. And we rotate through different seasons our cheesecake flavors. Excellent. So now you want to flip it over just once, boom, and Look then you got your other crust. Looks, right? And then when that's got a good line, you're gonna move it over here and just let it slowly. Wow. Cooked through to the mill. Yes. Now, what are you going to drink with that? Well, isn't ah, that funny you should ask? Yeah. <laughs> we got some gorgeous wines that uh, we, we uh, have our own labels. Sure. So we've got a Chardonnay, we have our, uh, our, our rose, yes. a Pinot Noir, okay. we have a Cabernet Sauvignon, yeah. a big red blend that is unbelievably delicious of all the flavors. So Excellent. when you're cutting into a nice big chunk of meat, you want a nice, you want, you want to have you the want right a good red. Yeah, right. absolutely. So now, here's what's important as well. Sure. Learning at rest, like I said before. And, okay. And why not finish off? You've done all of this work. We put a little bit. Of, we put a little bit of compound butter. Yes. You know, you can put a little bit of butter mixed with some seasoning in there on yeah. there just to finish it off. Just kind of gilding the lily, sort of. Yes. But you want to cut it what they call against the grain. Okay. And a filet mignon that doesn't really matter. Sure. Well, what's the grain? The grain is like the lines of uh, of the muscle. 
right? Okay. You want to cut against it. Imagine you're holding a bunch of spaghetti in your hands. Yes. You're cutting it down. Well, that's what it is. Okay. You're cutting so cutting it against, against the grain. You know, sure. People say, oh, against the grain. They, they nod their head and they don't know what they you're They have no clue. About. Yes. <laughs> okay. But you that also makes want sense. a great knife. Yes. So we have our steak knives that you can get that online on our online market, our Perry steak knives. So when you're cutting it, you're finishing the whole beauty yes. of what you've gone through the paint. You've taken it out of the refrigerator, right. warmed it up, seasoned it properly, cooked it just to the perfect degree of done rested it. Now you want to have now a you're nice just knife. cutting it right perfectly. It. Well, Rick, thank you so, so much. This is also wonderful. Again, celebrating our military members yeah. at Perry's. I think that is so important. Uh, and I can't wait to, to try this out at home. Thank you. You're welcome, Danny. Of course, guys. Well, Perry's is showing its appreciation for the military community again by offering an exclusive menu for all active and retired military members. You can dine in and enjoy that three course meal every day for just $39 per person when you dine in before 6 p.m. To learn more and to make those reservations, go to perrysteakhouse.com or give them a call.